I guess these are the London years, so Katie would have been you know, pulling heavily from those collections. Um, I wanted to do something about, it's a tricky piece, I don't usually do these sort of narrative pictures. He was very informed by the work of Joel Peter Whitkin. Yeah. Um, it not, went off with him in that show as well. So, um, sorry? The, the image appropriation kicked off with him really? as well. For Voss or for, for I this? think for Dante as well. Oh, because he I'm had not the sure. Yeah, exa on the, exactly. Oh, yeah. Anyway, go on. But then he ended up buying Joel Peter Whitkin. Yeah, and they, were, they also yeah. made friends because yeah. I think both... Don McCullen and Joel Peter Wickham realised there was a kind of innocence to it and also a love of it. Yeah. He wasn't doing it because he was nicking it, he was doing it because he loved yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah imitation and uh, yeah. those sort of things. Anyway. And also, um, yeah, a nice person, you know, not a nice person, you know, if you're going to be imitated by somebody or in, if your work appears in inspiration of somebody, yeah. then it was somebody, you know, that sort of vision and how fascinating. So I took some of those references. Of Witkin, um, and also the relationship Lee had with his dogs, and the relationship he had with death, and that's why sticks is written here. I and mean, I like the idea that, that I might have got this completely wrong, but did one of his dogs die because his mother died? His Min Minter, his first dog was ill. Right, was ill. Okay, and I'm sure has since died. Yeah, yeah. this is actually Minter's sister. In the picture. Is it Minter's sister or is it Juice's sister? Oh, are you better than me, Crikey? I, I knew the dogs. Juice's I'm obsessed sister, with dogs. This is, I think this is Juice's do uh, sister because Juice is or was yeah. a bull terrier. And I right. think this is, Minter was a mongrel from... That's Batsy. Yeah. yeah. And didn't when they Katie Batsy. have one of... Yeah, I, Juice was from Batsy. I don't think Callum was from Batsy. I think Callum right. was a scary... This isn't Callum's sister. This is this Juice's Juice sister. Minter. So yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Through with you, but I think Katie also had a bull terrier from the same breed as Juice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, go on. Um, How nice. So I wanted to do something that you know, the the, the sort of the the a, a very literally no narrative picture, which I don't normally do at all. I mean, it's something like Wicking and loads of pictures full of meaning and of stories and fables and this that, and the other, and you have to dissect them like a sort of piece of writing in that way, which is not really how I tend to sort of normally work. But I wanted to do something, which is partly a nod and a wink to Wiccan, because it's somebody whose work that I don't actually particularly like, to be honest, I respect, but it's not aesthetically where I go. No. Um, and I was always like, curious about Lee's fascination for Wiccan. Um, but I, you know, I, as I say, I respect any photographer who produces that consistency of work at that level. Um, and I wanted to do something a little bit of a, you know, like Lee did by taking the mask. Yeah. I wanted to do a little bit of a kind of, partly for Lee, partly, you know, because Wickham was such a reference for him at that time. And um, the idea that you know, this is somebody under the river sticks or the other side of the river sticks looking up through the kind of, you know, the waves. So it was a sort of call from beyond. And also when Lee killed himself, it was after losing his mother, losing Izzy. Um, I couldn't remember if it was after losing a dog or not. But so I wanted to have some image that recognized that, you know, there was another vision of a, a life after our own. So it's a picture about death, really. It's a picture Isn't about life after death. Isn't it interesting that if we weren't talking about this, I wouldn't have known that's what you were doing. No. And I wonder, and we've talked about this before, but, you know, is it good, therefore, to sit and deconstruct imagery or deconstruct fashion and to explain uh, another layer to people? Obviously, I think it is because mm. I like a narrative. Yeah, well, I, I, Lee's clothes were so full so of narrative. So narrative. And your work is full of narrative. But I don't laden my work. No, it, not... Sort of way that no. somebody like Wick can laden his work with sort of meaningful narrative. But you have here, that's narrative. interesting. And I have now there that, that, was a, it, yeah. that was a kind of, you know, a purposeful thing. And the success of the image is, is debatable. But it's full of things like, you know, the dog wearing the crucifix and the... the actually, it, it's a deer's head <coughs> put on a dog. So... It's, that is some, quite dark. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things. And the, the mattress, that, the sort of soiled mattress... Um, that what's the name of the? I'm so bad with names now. Um, young designer used to Tracy work with Lee. M. You don't no, mean no, Tracy no, no, young, young. No, I don't mean Tracy I mean, young fashion designer um, used to work with Lee. Got Quentin Crisp's mattress. Um, Miguel Andreva. Miguel Andreva. Yeah. Miguel Andreva. Yeah. Famously bought Quentin Crisp's mattress. He did. Well, made That's a coat right. Out made it into like thought, a Burberry coat or yes. something weird. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that, there was references, you know, to to that and. Yeah, one, one can sort of keep on adding. Um, but also, I, I once gave Lee a video camera and said, film your sex life, which he did for me. Did he? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the pictures, because in the first year of Show Studio, we put out a box set, a 
a commemorative box set, which is actually incredibly rare. I remember it, I remember. And then it has a cake from Ki a Kiss from Kate Moss in it. It has um, uh, Julie Verhoeven illustrations, that fantastic content to it. David Chipperfield, Comey Clean, Peter Savile, Logan Taylor, right? Yeah. Peter Savile, all these fantastic content. And the pictures from Lee in it are the pictures of the soil sheets. Of course. So, which is sort of, because yeah, he went through the, the film. From his house. In his house. Yeah. And, um, I wanted to, to, so you get a box set, you have these pictures of the soil Amazing sheets. thing to have. So that's what that picture is very much about. Um, so that was my turn to talk to and, and actually, going back to the soil sheets, that's sort of what I was saying before about the whole thing being cleaned up mm. to the point where, you know, everything from Alexander McQueen, the label now, yeah. um, to the way Lee's work has almost been shown in galleries is respectful in a way yeah. that ironically Lee was not respectful. No, indeed. No. He I mean, was anything but and yeah. that was part of his whole thing. Yeah. And I think everybody's right to have done it like that, absolutely. I think there's no other way to do it. Um, but it's interesting to go back and look at these things and realise how brave they were, how away from anything else that was going on at the time they were, and how iconoclastic they were. Yeah. And what you and Lee were doing together was always iconoclastic. Hmm. Well, the the first much, picture he ever asked yeah. me to do was to have a girl floating in shit. There you go. Yeah, that was so I want a girl floating in sewage. Was that this. is pretty out yeah. there. So that's where it started. Hello, Vogue. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he wasn't going <laughs> to... That wasn't his thing at all, was it? He wasn't no, going to... No. wasn't going to go through Vogue. No. He wasn't interested. In he wasn't interested. He wasn't interested in selling clothes at the beginning. He wasn't interested in any of the system, the fashion system things. He just wanted to create something that provoked emotion and made people feel something. Yeah. And he wanted to express himself. He needed to express himself, I think. Yeah.